Hello guys, welcome back, and yes, of course, it is your man, Zooey Mama, and we got another little tutorial on a lovely pillager. I mean, look at that guy. Yes, the blocks do look a bit odd, as always. I think the blue, definitely, and the purple is slightly off, but I mean, as I always say, guys, it's hard trying to replicate mobs sometimes with the colour palette that you actually have at hand, right? So, um, obviously, I did the best I could here with obviously trying to get the right color palette so um obviously if you think it's a little bit off as always please obviously change what you think is necessary and i've got to say i've got to be sorry about this because there is a sh you've literally got one block of everything every color um on on this um panel here so um yeah obviously we are doing two parts of a build we're doing it you know the actual pillager himself and we're doing a crossbow so that's why there's so many different colours, but not only that, the pillager does actually have a lot of colours in, in incorporated into it as well. I mean, if you look very closely at, at the, this guy, um, I mean, that's what I had to do. Get really close, take some pictures, and you'll see there is a lot of colour, colour coloration going on there. So um, yeah, bear with me, and um, we will get to the end of this build together, right? So. I'm with you every step of the way, as always. So we're going to be having our little pause sections, as always, as well. And just to make things a little bit more simple for you. So there we go. And so, yeah, you noticed um, there's a crossbow there. And you had a little glimpse of it at the start. And I must say, um, that is definitely probably one of the nicest looking weapons that we got in the game at the minute. But my only concern is that, obviously, the crossbow itself is, if you notice, it's actually made on a diagonal so i did actually try try and change the orientation of the actual crossbow itself while it's on the pillager's arms um but if you try and make that that crossbow straight it doesn't actually look like a crossbow anymore um which i thought looks a bit odd so i kept it at the diagonal but then obviously we have a little bit of a dilemma then because obviously he's holding the crossbow at an angle and obviously my um illager is actually um sort of facing forward so it, it's sort of like looks a bit odd in a way but I mean what do you think I mean do you think it looks a bit odd or do you think it actually looks all right I mean that's why if you notice on the build I've actually brought the arms in on the pillager as well so it looks like he's actually holding the um the crossbow rather than it just um just being weird in one hand sort of yeah I think I think you get what I'm trying to get at here um, I'm not fully convinced <laughs> that it looks uh, looks good, let's say. I, I quite like the pillager without the crossbow, but I'll leave that up to you. If you want to just build the pillager, go for it. If you want the crossbow on there as well, then so be it, okay? Just do it. Whew! Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> um, so as you might already know, some of you might, some of you might not, I've actually started streaming on Twitch now um, rather than on YouTube. So I'll still be doing my original videos on YouTube every now and then. So obviously the mob builds like I have been doing. But not only that, I'm actually going to be streaming on Twitch. So make sure you come and have a look at me on Twitch. It's Zooey Mama. Um, it's exactly the same as it is on uh, YouTube. So yeah, come along and you never know. I may be playing Minecraft, which I do play Minecraft on Twitch. And not only Minecraft, but various other games as well. So it's a nice little yummy saray, saray? array <laughs> of different games um, that I'll be playing. So yeah, I'm not sort of fixed into one game, but I will obviously be playing Minecraft as well. So make sure you do come and join me because I will be playing um, on the uh, PlayStation Edition. And on there, I've actually got a world that I have started, oh, I don't know, probably four or five maybe years ago now, uh, I guess. So yeah, it's um, a really old world of, world of mine. And um, I've been doing a lot of cool builds in there. I did a little bit of pixel art. Um, and it's all done in survival as well. So it's all, um, all legitimate. And you can still obviously earn your trophies in there as well. So yeah, I will be streaming that. Um, because I really do enjoy obviously going back to the back to where it all began for me and obviously back to where it all first started. So you never know if you uh, do happen to bump into me on Twitch and you notice I'm playing the PlayStation Edition, I might even send you a cheeky little invite so you can obviously join into my world and perhaps you can build a few things with, alongside with me as well. Now that would be pretty cool. So back to the build quickly and you notice I've placed two blue blocks there. Now that's just obviously to get you going and letting you start in the right location because this is what I'm on about with the arms 
that have sort of moved in slightly to obviously give the impression that he's actually holding the crossbow rather than it just sort of being on the end of his arms in a sense but I mean if you do look at the this guy very closely um, if you can when you when he's chasing you around the, around the world um, you do actually see that he is actually holding his arms in slightly like that um, where he's holding the crossbow as well so it all makes sense in the end right so just uh, bear with the madness I got a nice little idea as well if you do want to spice your build up um, and you've obviously built this guy you've got the crossbow on there and you could even modify it yourself. I mean, I haven't done this yet, but I did have a, a thought just now that perhaps you could do the, uh, what is it, the captain one where he's got the banner on the back as well. And that would be that should be pretty easy enough to build. I mean, all you need to do really is build a big old, big old rectangle, I guess, um, above his head and sort of like replicate his head essentially on the banner. So, I mean, you might be good at making banners and you might, you know, you might be able to do this with ease, really. So, um, yeah, why don't you give that a go as well, just to add a little bit more extra to it. Jumping back to the build very, very, very quickly. And so far you should have, um, we're obviously starting building the arms there. And you should have two arms exactly the same. So once you've done one arm, really, the other one should be exactly the same. And it's quite easy to sort of copy it across once you've got the one down. Um, so yeah, I mean that could be um, a bit easier to build it. So obviously just do the one first, um, copy all my steps, and then literally just just copy that across to the other side. That that might be the easier way to sort of do this build rather than what I'm doing is flicking between the two. But I'll leave that entirely up to you. I just thought it would be a nice idea. I just gotta say one thing as well that I with this build that I wasn't too happy with, and that's just using the nether brick. And I'm not a massive fan. I mean that color. Um, that deep sort of purple color we need that color because that's sort of most of the coloration really on on the pillager so it is essential that you have like a dark purple in there and I couldn't really find any sort of alternative to use um, apart from that so you know I don't really like using blocks that have a texture to it um, especially in this case I mean sometimes it works well um, but in other times I don't really like the texture part so Again, with the wall as well, it's, it's the same old story. It's got that little bit of texture to it. It's not much texture, but it's enough to put me off. And <laughs> it does put me off. I mean, I don't know about you. What do you think? I don't know how what your thoughts on it. Perhaps you should let me know in the comments what, what your thoughts are. And, you know, what, what do you think about the using the nether brick as well? Are you, are you agreement with me? Or do you think that looks silly as well? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. It's just that I know there's something about this build that... I like when you're at a distance, but then when you're up close, it's just that texture, I just don't like it. Full stop, I just don't like it. <laughs> Quickly back to the build here, and we're gonna build the um, the head now, so we're gonna come out by eight, but um, you need to obviously put this, the light gray um, concrete there. Um, you, it all makes sense in the end, but it should be overhanging by one, and then you're gonna bring this clay all the way out and overhang it by one, so it should be eight, and you're going up by 10 okay so across by 8 and then up by 10 so that's going to give you the sort of rectangle look of the head and um, it'll all make clear in a minute all right so just bear with me and all you're going to do is fill this in with clay I'm not going to actually do it I'm just going to draw um, draw I'm going to build in this um, this block here um, block wow I can't even spit my words out <laughs> put these two there just like so and that will become clear in a minute and then obviously going to fill this up again I'm just making a square here um, just to show you what you need to do and then I'm going to auto fill it in and then we're going to go from there right so it, it all will make sense in the end okay trust me okay so should have some looking a little bit like this and then with a little bit of magic boom we should have some looking a little bit like that and you can leave it hollow on the inside because you can actually convert that into a house or something if you need be now we're going to just fill out this making a nice little panel like that little bit of white bit of green for his eyes and yeah it's all making sense now isn't it? that's his eyebrows and um, that, that other part is part of his cheekbone i guess and yeah just copy what i'm doing and um, yeah, so um, the inside of this guy, you, obviously it's hollow. Um, if you have made it hollow, hopefully you have. And if you have, then great, because you've got a massive bit of area in there that you can use. You can, I don't know, make some farms in there. Um, you can make a mob drop maybe in there. 
Um, I don't know, it's up to you. Oh, just one thing with the nose as well. I'm just going to obviously show you. I did actually come out by one here, and I made a silly mistake of, of putting the nose right up against the face, where I'm just going to show you now an edited part. Well, not an edited part, another part of the video that um, I'm just going to show you. Actually, we need to correct this, all right? So we need to bring this out by two, as shown in the picture, and then take them out. I don't know why I did that. So the nose should be hanging off the face essentially and not touching the body right they all should make sense congratulations you have now built the pillager and all you need to do is whack on that crossbow on his arm and if you build out from here for so one block um, off the edge of the arm and you can build it from the diagonal like I said because it's already on a diagonal and there we go that's how I positioned it but we're gonna obviously zoom in here in a little pause section so you can actually put this crossbow wherever you want on this arm um, if you think it might need moving slightly or adjusting differently, then obviously go ahead and do that. But I'll leave that part entirely up to you. And here we go, finished product. We'll give you a little spin around, and there we go. There are the pillagers in their all glorious form. There we go. I've been Zoe Mama. Hope you enjoyed the video, and make sure you uh, look out for the next one. Bye.